Thank you. Love you, Peanut. Bye, Have a good night. Oh. Who can get mommy this? Mm, thank you. Love you. Let's go get a nap. Okay, guys, give it a couple minutes. All right, still have a few minutes to wait, but if you guys want to pull up a playlist, you're welcome to use any music of your own, of course, but if you want the playlist that I'll be using, it's through my Spotify, which is Hannah, H-A-N-N-A-H dot D-E-A. And the playlist we're using today is titled Booty, B-U-T-I. 4-9 and I think it's like the third or fourth one down if you go to my playlist
in just another minute or so. <clears throat> if you don't already have your space set up, we'll go ahead and do that. If you have a mat, that's great. Otherwise, totally fine. You just need some open space, some room to move. You don't need anything other than that. Just yourself. <clears throat> And if you do have that playlist pulled up, I'll count down for us to start it together. I'll give it just another moment in case anyone else is hopping in. Okay, now I'll give you that one more time. If you'd like to pull up music through Spotify, my Spotify is hannah.dea, and we're gonna be using the playlist titled Booty 4-9. It's gonna start with Alamala. <clears throat> if you do have that pulled up, we can start it together right from the beginning. All right, and I'm going to start that in three, two, one, go. Turn mine down so you probably won't be able to hear it, but again, you're welcome to use any music that you'd like. We are going to start kneeling, so sitting on your heels. You're welcome to modify, of course, anything that you'd like throughout your practice this morning. Do what you need to do, take care of yourself, have fun. And when you are ready, we'll go ahead, find a kneeling position, maybe hips to your heels. Draw your belly button back and in towards your spine. Nice and tall, rooted down through both hips. Finding light through the back of your neck. We'll take a big inhale, reach both arms high, all the way up, all the way up. With the exhale, fold, slide both arms back. Again, on the inhale, sleep it high, all the way up. Exhale, fold, slide the arms back. Last one, inhale, reach high. Exhale to fold, tend your fingertips to the outer edges of both hips and then round it all the way down. Maybe the forehead rests. One more big breath here. Press down to the pads of your fingers, hover your chest, hover your hips, and then find a small round up through your low belly. So from the side, it's just a tiny tuck through the lower abdomen. Pretty small range of motion. Good. Stay with your round. For a three, two, the last one, drop the hips back down, inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus the elbows back, bring a broad face across your chest. Again, the inhale, reach high, neutral spine. The exhale, pull it back one more time, slow. Keep the cactus of the arms, lengthen the crown, high, take it right to left of the ribs. Fingers spread nice and wide. For a three, two, right elbow across, open close. For a three, two, the last one, keep the right arm across. They're gonna hook back at the right tricep with the left arm and draw it in, still fingers spread wide. Wrap your right shoulder down your back. Soften that pulse so you can take an eagle bind. Left arm still under. Maybe the palms connect. Maybe you hook the shoulders. And then spiral your ribs to your right clockwise. Still belly button in strong. Lift the elbows high away from your chest. Keep the shoulders down away from your ears. Three. 
for a two. And the last one is you open spine twist to your right, look back over your right shoulder. And keep the connection, left fingertips, lift the right fingers and sweep it up and over towards the outer edge of the left knee and then back finger twist. For two. Last one, hook the left knee into your chest, hold it around through your spine. Then a little rock right to the left of the back of the rib cage. For two. Last one, inhale, open it all the way, reach wide. The exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back. You can hook, interlacing the palms and the thumbs. You can also hook opposite forearm, opposite wrist. If you have that grip, draw it back to lift your chest. And keep that grip on the inhale, lift half. With the exhale, big wide circles down and around to the right. Two more. The last one, hold it back, maybe the fist plant. Good, really swing it out right to left, stay low. For two, last one, back through your spine twist, to your right, look back over the right shoulder. And a counter spiral through the ribs to your left. So you're circling back in towards the midline. Last, we're gonna keep the right palm wide. You can even bump it a little farther. Sweep it open, take a supported wide half candle, maybe sweeping the left arm back. And release as you close, forward fold, walk it out to your right. Keep the pull both hips back towards your heels, especially to the left side. Pressure still pretty even through the tops of your feet, through both shins. One more big breath. And then slide it in about halfway, tent the fingers, and then roll it up, roll it down. Think waiting with your chest, still at that angle to your right. For three, two, the last one, hold the foam. Right fingertips stay wide, do the left fingertips open to frame the knees, round up. Last one, take it high, big reach up and up. Exhale, cactus, lift your heart. Inhale to neutral, palms together, cross your thumbs. Exhale, side bend to your right. Get the compression to the right side body. We're gonna draw right thumb in towards your chest. If you reach away to the left side, press the right palm up. Two. Last one, so it back to center all the way up. With the exhale, full pinky fingers still connect. One more big breath in. And a big breath out. Release the connection to the palms. Spread the fingers, shift forward, dive the chest through the arms to a cobra, bhujangasana. And then find a small roll, shoulders back and down away from your ears, both shoulders roll. For two. Last one, press the floor away. Maybe a little more lift with your chest. Big breath in. With the exhale, roll it down. Inhale, press to your table. Tuck your toes. With the exhale, hover your knees. You're going to open close to the knees. You're always welcome to modify. You can take it from the knees down. Just alternate a tap out right to left here. Let's not show pressure to the knees. Two. Last one, press it up, way back. Downward facing dog. Little rock through the hips, right to left. You can walk it out, you can pedal the heels. Just feeling into the back one of the body. Now speed it up, knees right to left, towards the midline, shift forward, high plank. For two. Last one, take it down halfway or to your belly. Pull through cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, back to your downward facing, send the hips high, big breath in. And a big breath out. 
Rising the toes, bend your knees. We're going to walk step or hop up to straddle full top of your space. And then pulse both heels high. You can bend your knees as much as you need to here. You don't have to lock up the legs, but keep the palms stacked just about under the shoulders, pushing the floor away. You can stay here or take it to a hop. Still on the toes. Crisscross the feet through the midline. For three, two, with the last one, land it wide, soften the knees, roll up, press away through your feet. And with your chest, the exhale, melt it down. Two more, inhale to rest. Exhale through center. Last one, press up. The exhale, all the way down, we're gonna stay low and shift right to left. Fly dance wide. Add a little circle with the arms. For two. Last one, we're going to take it back to your right. Left palm in line with the right toes. Open twist to your right. Push away with the pinky touch of the left foot. Find a small pulse under the right heel. Option to take the right arm all the way around to hook the crease of the left hip. For two. And last one, press away with the right foot. Drop your right hip down. Um, and if you have a wrap of the right arm, reach it high, and then soften your center, hook the forearm, sway it out right to left. For two. The last one is your release, fingertips or palms with the shoulders. Lift your chest, bring your heels and your toes out, so the hips down slowly through Malasana. Then hips dropping to the line between your heels, but ankle bones hug in towards the midline, small tips right to left of the hips. Doesn't have to be a big motion still here. If it feels like it's too much in the hips, take yourself a little higher and you might need to widen the stance on your feet. That's okay too. For three, two. Last one, soften it. Maybe a little connection resistance with the elbows to the insides of the knees. Not a strong press, broaden your chest. One more big breath. We're going to reconnect palms down under your shoulders, and then from your malasana, start with the left foot to step back to a hovering table. Left foot leads to step it forward. For three, two, the last one, hold that hover, squeeze your knees together, small tucks up and in, knees towards your chest. For three, two. The last one, gently set, both knees down, tops of the feet flat. We'll rise big, inhale up with Exhale, cactus the elbows are high. Inhale to reach. Exhale, fly the arms back, circle both shoulders back. Take it wide, tap the heart right to left. Two. Last one, we'll keep right fingertips to heart, lift it high, spiral left. Open right arm wide to meet the left, palms up. For two, rounding the shoulders into left, forward. Two. And last one, take it high, big breath in. Exhale, full, fly the arms back, tap the fingers, press the floor away, round up, cover the hips, round, really slow belly. Stay with that round, we'll stick the palms forward, press your palms tight, cross your thumbs. Find a little more left with your chest, hips still at a hover, so that till or the tuck shifts just to the pelvis here, front to back. Squeeze your inner thighs, circle the right hip out to your right. Draw thumbs in close. Walk your right knee out. You can always take the hands back down for more support for the knees. Switch left. Three, two, last one. Take it in, hips right to left. Circle just the left hip out to your left. Press down to the tops of your feet, tops of the big toes. 
a little higher, figure eight, hips right to left. Two. Nice job. Last one, set it down. Inhale, press the palms high. Exhale, caps the back. Stay with the cactus, close off the bottom ribs, draw in, left elbow cross. For two. Last one. To that full cross of the left arm. Hook the back of the left arm with the right. Draw it in towards your chest. Raise this with the left shoulder. Slide it down away from your left ear. One more big breath. You can keep your cross here or bend the left elbow maybe to find your equal bind. Palms or the hug of the shoulders. Find a spiral through the ribs to your left counterclockwise. Both shoulders still press away from your ears. Keep the shoulders down and then lift the elbows high. So it's a little more space between the triceps and your chest. Three. For two. Last one as you release and unwind, open that spine twist to your left. Look back over the left shoulder. Keep the connection, right hand to the outer to the left thigh. Lift the left fingertips to hover. Find a big arcing sweep, open to the outer to the right knee. For three, two, last one. Keep the catch of the right knee, chin to your chest, belly to your spine. Press the back, say body back. Small rocker to left of the back of the ribs. Third two. Last one in, take it high. Exhale, cactus the back. Big breath in. The exhale, press the palms forward, full circle sweeps with the arms. For three, two. Last one, hold your cactus. Big breath in. Interlace the fingers behind your head as you find a neutral spine, elbows high. The exhale, right elbow towards the right hip. In, up your center. Exhale, switch left over to left hip. On the inhale, reach over the hips, pull it down right to left. Three, two. The last one, inhale to center, press it all the way up. The exhale, hands to your hips, point your tail in towards the line between your knees, and then press the front of the pelvis forward. Hug your elbows in behind your chest. Nice and gentle as you sit it back down to the heels. Pull your belly and pull the bottom ribs in. I'll reach high. Palms press, cross the thumbs. Exhale, side bend to your left. Keep the length of the right side body. And take left thumb into heart. Active reach away with the right pinky finger. Press the left palm up. Towards the line of the right armpit. For three. Last one, zip it all the way up, back through center, big breath in. With the exhale full, flood the arms back. Big inhale, fill up. A big exhale. And the inhale, rise and reach high to both sides. With the exhale, take it back, spine twist to your left. Then a counter spiral to your right, so back in towards the midline. For two. Last one, but the left arm a little wider. Sit the right arm open. Press the floor away through your left thumb. Press down through both shins. Hips to lift. And as you release, we'll forward fold. Walk it out to your left. Keep your right hip drawing back towards your right heel. The length of the right side, buddy. And slide into about halfway. Fingertips turn. Roll it up. Roll it down. Look at the chest. For two, last one, roll it down, back to your full. As you rise, keep the left fingertips wide, open the right fingertips to match the left, half circles right to left. Two, 
Stay with the round, flat the arms wide. Add a tap down with the fingertips. Two. Last one, sit it down, reach up. With the exhale, take the grip and release your fingers behind your back. Press the fists away from your hips, big inhale. With the exhale, big circles down and around to your left. For two. Last one. Pull it back. Let your heart big breath in. And a big breath out. On the inhale, take your sleep high. Palms press with the exhale, full dive all the way down. Another big inhale, fill in. A big exhale. Separate the palms. Child's pose, push ups, front to back. So knees and big toes stay down. As you shift forward, elbows wrapping pretty close. You don't have to take a full drop, you can. Or you can stay a little more lifted. So you maintain that structure and support the shoulders. Pull your low belly, pull your bottom ribs up and in so you're not dipping and dropping through the low back. Two more. Last one, dive it through to your cobra. Sweep the knees together. Tuck your toes, exhale, downward facing back. Then a static shake, the balls of the feet stay rooted down. Big breath in. And a big breath out. And press the heels down, static. On the inhale, shift forward, high plank, wrap the hips up to left, small half circles. A little bigger with that circle, up and over, and a little more dip of the hip towards the base of the wrist, alternating. Keep both palms rooted. Three. Two. Last one, drop it over to your right, side plank. You can stagger or stack the feet. Stack the shoulders, stack the wrist, reach out. Small pulse up, lift the right side body, outer to the right hip. You can also take this with the top foot, cross over. It's going to give you a little more support, stability with the left heel. For two. Last one, on the inhale, reach high, lift the hips. With the exhale, small twist, throw the left arm underneath the right. On the inhale, open it high. Exhale, squeeze right under. One more time, inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist. On the inhale, open to reset. Exhale, close, take it all the way down to your belly. Inhale, cold rip open. Wide the knees, exhale, child's pose, press it back. Now lift the right fingertips of the right arm onto the left, and lift the outer edge of the right shoulder down, a gentle shoulder twist. Just give that right shoulder a little relief here. One more big breath. If you have a wrap of the left arm, reconnect through your left fingertips to on the other way. Rise to your table, tuck your toes. Have your knees circle both knees in towards the midline. Shoulders and upper body stay pretty static, pretty stable. Two. Last one, press it high. On the inhale, rise, side bend your knees. Walk, step, or hop up, feet together, top of your space. Walk it up right to left. For two. Last one, both heels, pulse up, by the arms back, cover your chest, bend a flat back. In front side body, up and in. Two. Last one, drop it down, tap it out right to left. Reach both arms forward. Stay low with the hips, maybe you can sit a little bit deeper. Give yourself some space. We're going to step it back. Same arm, same leg, circle. Three. Four, two. The last one, we're going to keep the left foot back. Take that full step open or your two to your left. Pull the base of the left hip down, small tuck, start to back for the pelvis. Squeeze your butt. Keep the active reach apart with the shoulders and the fingertips. For two. Last one, go face the hips down, reverse your warrior, open the right side body. You can guide left hand on the outer left line, not a lot of pressure, especially to the outer edge of the knee. You can wrap it around for the crease of the right hip. Find a small pulse on the right heel. Right knee still in line with the toes, so squeeze, think outer to the right thigh strong to stay wide. Two. 
Last one, sit low. Carvel it to the inside of the right foot and then walk both hands out to your left to give yourself some space. We're gonna pivot on the ball of your right foot. As you pivot, think spinning the heel out the hip up and then dropping the heel in and the knee and toes forward. So open to close. For three, two, last one, drop the heel in, left palm stays down, open your twist, right arm high, small circle, think rocking the right hip back. So pushing out of your left shoulder, push your way through your left thumb. Two, last one, we're gonna stay low, you can take your right palm or even the right forearm for a little press of the right knee, still nothing strong, nothing forceful. Squeeze your left back, one more big breath. Then nice and gentle, we're gonna take both hands to the inside, pivot back to the ball of your left foot. So you're squaring your hips and your chest in line with the right toes, and then find a small shift front to back. Right knee, right thigh, still framing to the outside of the right tricep. Squeeze your left butt, that's gonna help keep your pelvis pretty level. And still belly up and in towards your spine. Two. The last one, nice and gentle, set the left knee down, top the left foot flat. For a lizard lunge hold, you can keep the right foot in pretty close. You can widen it if you like a little more space. You can soften the elbows. You can take the forearms down. If that feels like it's too much, the back right hip or the front of the left, just stay high. You can also shift both hips back a little farther if you need a little more space. One more big breath. And when you're ready, if you're on the forms, press yourself back to your palms, tuck your left toes under, we're gonna lift the back knee, find a small pulse, and then we're gonna sweep right foot back, hip step, left foot forward, hip step, right to left. Mindful that you're stepping far enough forward that you can connect through your heel. You can also take this step back to a table, and then same thing, alternating that lizard step. For three, two, with your last one coming back to the lizard on your right side, right foot forward, front to back. For three, two, we're gonna press off the left toes and step left foot to frame the left wrist to your malasana, heels and toes out, sit it down. The chest high. Press up through your heels, hug the ankle bones and lift a little bit higher than your lowest point, one or two inches or so. Small tilt right to left of the hips. Cross the palms forward, lift your chest. Small circles, hips left. Let's stay tiny. Two. Last one, spin the heels wide, shake it out. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. One more in, to lengthen. Axe to the fold, soften the knees enough to hook your big toes with your peace fingers. And join the elbows wide as you lengthen, rest them down. And as you release, fold the arms back, shift right to left, side lunge. So pretty low with the chest. But can you bring more body weight back to the heels? Two. Last one, take it to your left, right palm or fingertips about in line with your left toes. You can always prop it higher to block books, whatever you have. Open to your left. Find a small pulse into the left heel. So still knees and toes forward. Option to wrap the left arm around your back. Maybe you can add crease of the right hip, maybe not. It doesn't matter. Two. Last one, drive away through the pinky toe to the left foot. Can you drop the left hip down and shift more weight to the right side? So you're squaring off a little more through your hips. On the inhale, reach the right left arm high. With the exhale, release up the forearm, sway it out. And you can add back in a little bend to your knees. So you're kind of drawing yourself through a figure eight. Two. Last one, release it to center, fingertips or palms down, inhale to lengthen, spin the heels and toes out. Exhale back to your malasana, lift your chest, big breath in. 
With the exhale, reconnect your palms. This time, right foot's going to leave. We're going to step back to a hovering table. Send me below your hip. Left foot meets the right. Right foot leads. Step forward. Open to your table. Just a couple more times. Two. The last one, knees below your hips. Hold that hover. Big breath in. And a big breath out. One more inhale, fill up. With the exhale, press it away. Downward facing up. Another full inhale. And a full exhale. And then inhale, rise on your toes. Bend your knees, exhale, walk step, or hop up feet together. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to full. And rise to Ukatasana chair. Drop the hips down, lift your chest. Balsa. Squeeze your knees. Ankle bones under the thighs. Everything hugging in towards the midline. Two. Last one, sit low, thumbs to your heart. You're gonna hover both heels and then slowly take it down to a hover, hips from the heels. Good. Stay with that little space. You can also take your hands to your thighs. That will help to angle the knees down. One more big breath in. And a big breath out. On the inhale, reach both arms high, still thumbs crossed. With the exhale, small spirals to your right. Two. The last one, take it through, thumbs to your heart, left elbow maybe to the outside of your right knee. And for this, your knees may tilt a little higher than your hips, that's okay, you can stay here. You can press, right palm down to the left to lift your heart a little higher to your thumbs. You can take it to a side curl on rounds of your choice, or you can stay. One more big breath. If you'd like to keep that connection, you can stay here. You can also keep the fingertips down, but either way, find a little pressure, outer edge of the knee into the outer edge of the right elbow. And then from there, pull your belly up and in. I'm going to open, close, left knee. Just the left side moves. Three. Two. And the last one is you open the left knee. We're going to untwist through center, open the right knee to meet the left. And then palms to the insides of both knees. Kind of small squeeze, both knees back. So think a little butterfly with the legs, using the muscles, outer thighs, outer edges of the glutes. Two. Last one, fingertips down, walk yourself forward, keep the knees wide, press the big toes. One more big breath. And as you walk the fingertips back in, I'm gonna press the hips high, send the heels back behind the toes. And fold option to hug behind your calves. You can hook opposite or outer edges of the heels if you'd like. A little more pull, a little more compression, upper body to your legs. One more big breath. And as you really separate, connect both palms down, soften the knees if you need to, to lift high on the balls of your feet. We're gonna swing the legs out, right to left. Both feet flexed. You can stay with a swing here or take it to a hop. Pendulum through center. Two. Last one, left foot ground, right foot wide, pulse it up. Small pulse, lifting through the pinky toe to the right foot. And walk the fingertips in a little closer. You can bend the left knee as much as you need to. You can bend the right. We're going to hook right big toe, piece fingers. Maybe left hand to left hip. Push away through the left foot to rise. Extend it into foot. Your right knee can bend. You can hook the right shin. One more big breath. And cross it over through center, gently hook, right foot to the top of the left thigh, figure four. Still right toes flex towards your right knee and then sit low. Small pulse. Two. Last one. Hold big breath in. A big breath out. I'm going to soften that cross, take the pinky toe to the right foot, to the pinky toe to the left foot, and then take your fold all the way down so you're in a flamingo cross. Big toe edges still also connect. You might have to bend both knees. That's okay. A little rock through the hips, right to left. Two. Last one. Keep the connection in the right foot. Fly the left leg back and up one-legged half left. Big breath in. 
For the exhale, bend and tuck. Left knee behind the right. Compress. Belly to your spine. Inhale to extend. Push away. Exhale. Tuck it in. Squeeze tight. One more time. Inhale. Kick it back. With the exhale, squeeze it in. You can stay here. You can set it back down for that flamingo fold. You can bend the knee, tuck your left heel towards your right butt. Reach your right hand back for the inner or outer edge of your foot. And then come into a twisted dancer. You can stay left fingertips down, right knee bent a lot. You can start to kick away through both legs. Maybe you use that pressure and right fingertips to rise. You can walk your left hand to your thigh. You can fly it forward. You can keep it in close. Your variation. Just notice this, so you can work that same progression on the opposite side, not to say it's gonna be the same. One more big breath. Reversing your way out slowly with control. And the inhale on the good half flip when you're ready. With the exhale, soften the right knee, step back, low lunge, left knee down, and reach high out of both sides. With the exhale, open it, you can cactus the elbows, you can cradle the head. Press down to the top of the left foot, the front of your left shin. On the inhale, reach high up and up. The exhale, full plant your palms, tuck the left toes, lift the back knee, right foot to knee to the left. Circle the hips to your left. Two. Last one, rock it to the outer to the left foot, side plank, Vashti Sasana. Push away to the left thumb, stop the shoulder, stop the wrist. Pulse up the outer left side. Option to cross the right foot over. Push to the right heel if you have that cross. Otherwise, still pretty strong. Flex back through all 10 toes towards your face. Really strong front of the body. Two. Keep the lift, stay high, big breath, reach up. With the exhale, gently thread the right arm underneath the left. On the inhale, open it, reach high. Exhale, thread it under. One more time, inhale, open. Exhale, thread a little twist. On the inhale, find space, reach high. Exhale to center, all the way down. Pull through, cool breath. With the exhale, child's pose, widen the knees just a bit, send it all the way back. Now lift the right armpit enough to set the left thumb under, let the outer edge of the left shoulder rest. Maybe left your left temple connect as well. And breathe, keep the length, the reach of the right side body. And reconnect with the right fingertips, right palm under the left, then the back third cobra, elbows wrapped in close. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog, press it all the way back. Big breath in. And a big breath out. One more inhale, fill in. And a big exhale. Rise in the toes, bend your knees, step our float feet together, forward, pulse both heels up. Fly both arms back, flat back. Last one, drop the heels down, sweep high mountain. Exhale to open at the top. Inhale to reach. With the exhale, sit it low, step and sweep the right side body open for your two. You can bring a line if you need to. Left toes about in line with your left knee, forward. Bring the base of your hips down. Pull the front side body back and in, and then tuck. Hips front to back. It's not a big arch back, it's just a tuck to release. Keep the pressure strong for the pinky to edge of your right foot. Three, two, good. Last one. Reverse your warriors. Sit low. The left palm high. Lengthen up the left side body. Reach it back. You can guide the right hand down the outer right thigh. Gentle that connection. You can wrap it around. Maybe you can not crease to the left hand. Maybe not. It's okay. Small balls into the left heel. Last one, release, cart with it down to the inside of the left foot, and then walk your hands out to your right, give yourself more space. I'm gonna take that pivot on the ball of your left foot. So as you pivot, the left heel turns back, left hip lifts, and then we're gonna drop left heel down, left knee toes forward. You can slow that down as much as you need to. Three. For two. The last one, so the left heel and left knee wide, right palm stays, left arm high. Small circle, left hip back. Two. Let's stay low with the hips, left palm or form to the inside of the left thigh, gentle press. 
Squeeze your right butt, push the right pinky touch down. One more big breath. Nice and gentle. Release both palms down. Pivot to the ball of your right foot. Take it to your left. Shift front to back. Both hands to inside of the left foot. Squeeze your right butt. Pull your low belly up. Three. For two. Last one. Softly connect top of the right knee, top of the right shin. Your elbows are lunge. You can stay. You can widen the left foot. You can soften the elbows. You can connect forearms, one and the other. One more big breath. And when you're ready, if you're on the forearms, press yourself back to your palms. Tuck your right toes under, lift back with the right knee, shift it front to back. Two. Last one, step the right foot to the outside of the right wrist, meeting in your molasana, heels and toes out. Big breath in. And a big breath out. Press away through your heels, lift your hips a couple of inches, press the palms forward, circle right. Three, two, last one through center, pulse up. Separate the palms, palms high. Two, last one, fold, heels spin wide, shake it out. Let the head go, soften to the back of the neck. Two, last one, inhale to lengthen, rise in the toes. Heel toe it into center, big toes touch. Drop it down through your fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold, shift the weight to the right foot. Flex your left toes by the left foot wide. Small pulses up through the outer to the left foot. Two. Last one, hold the lift. Maybe you hook left big toe, left piece fingers. Maybe you hook right hip with the right hand. Push away with the right foot as you rise. Again, you can bend the left knee, you can catch the shin. However you need to find that transition in the length of your spine. Wrap both shoulders down your back. One more big breath. Nice and gentle. Take the left heel to cross, top of the right thigh. Both hips pretty level still. And then sit lower. Small pulse here. Flex your left toes gently towards your left knee. Just to stay active. It will help stabilize with the ankle and your knee. Two. Last one, sit low. Put the pressure in the right heel, big breath in. And a big breath out. Lift the hips just enough to slide that cross down, left foot in front of the right pinky toe, just connect for your flamingo fold. Take it all the way down. Bend left knee or both as much as you need to. Small rock with the hips right to left. And last one. Shift weight to your left foot. Fly the right leg as you uncross. One leg at half lift. Left knee may have to bend. That's okay. Big breath in. With the exhale, bend a top. Right knee behind the left. Curl it to the front side. Inhale, press it back. Exhale, squeeze in. One more time. Inhale, kick. Exhale, tuck in. You can hold. You can raise the foot down through your flamingo. You can cross your heel towards the outer to the left foot. The left hip. Reach your left hand back to catch inner or outer edge. Just reflecting whatever variation you want with on the first side. You can stay with the bend to both knees. You can walk your right fingertips in a little closer, maybe to your shin, maybe to your thigh. Maybe you kick away into your left palm to lift your chest and open your chest back as you rise. Maybe you keep right thumb in close, maybe you reach. One more big breath. When you're ready, slowly reverse. Draw back in. Uncross in the inhale, extend. We exhale, soften the left knee and step back. Under a low lunge, right knee down, top of the right foot flat. Open through your crescent, push on the left heel, push on the right shin, reach up. Then open the front side, you can cactus, maybe you cradle the head. And collarbone or bra. Me and I'll take it all the way up. The exhale, fold, frame your left foot, tuck your right toes, lift through your back knee, left foot to meet the right, circle the hips to your right. Three. For 
for two. Last one, take it all the way down. Pull through on the inhale, cobra. Widen your knees, child's pose, hips to heels. Big breath in, fill up. And a big breath out. One more big inhale. And a big exhale. Then inhale, rise to your table, tuck your toes. Hover the knees, pale the knees, forward right to left. Push out through your thumbs. And our edges of both palms, still rooted. Three. For two. Last one, send it high, downward facing. And the inhale, rise on your toes, bend your knees, walk, step, or hop up, feet together. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. And the inhale as you rise, send both knees forward and down, drop your hips to your heels, and walk yourself back, maybe to the thighs, to angle the thighs down to start, and lift your chest high, hips right to left. Press it away wide. Two. Last one is to center each high, cross your thumbs. Small spiral through the ribs to your left. Three. For two. Last one, we're gonna take it through heart and twist to your left. So maybe the right elbow connects to the outer edge of the left knee. Maybe not. You can keep a more vertical twist. You can use the hands to the outside. If you have a connection in the left palm to the right, push your left palm down to lift your heart higher and shift your thumbs back in towards the center. Notice the pressure with the right elbow into your left knee. Can you resist? Push the left knee a little bit wide. So belly drawing back and then away from both thighs. Stay with that connection. Small open to close right knee. You're almost there. Two. Last one, we'll keep the right knee wide, open it. Bring it to center, left knee opens to meet the right. Palms to inside, little press, tuck the hips, front to back. Three, or two. Last one, this time we're gonna sweep it back into center. Drop your hands behind your hips and sit the hips down. Walk the hands a little farther, or the feet a little farther to give you some space. You can separate the feet, so you can rock both knees, both hips, right to left. Last one, take it forward to center. Maybe you hook backs of your thighs, drop both knees in towards your chest, lift your shins, and a small tuck here. You can keep this grip. You can take it wide with the palms. Two. Last one, option to stay. You can hug the shins back in. You can hit the backs of your heels for upward stretching. Maybe you start here, big toes down for balance. Maybe you lift it back in that line. Maybe you slip it all the way up. And then use your bring your heels, wrap your shoulders down, and pressing your breastbone toward your shins. One more big breath. Nice and gentle. We're going to release. Keep the heels down, palms behind, upward plank. Squeeze your butt. Lift your hips. Try to connect the balls of your feet and all ten toes down. One more big breath. With the exhale, gently set both hips down, flex the ten toes back. See it's staff. Separate the feet about hip width distance, maybe even a little wider if that feels good, up tall. And then gently walk yourself forward. Give the space of your chest. You can rest the palms of the forms. You can hug pinky to edges of your feet or the big toes, but mindful of the pulling. You don't want to be muscling yourself into anything here. Just maintaining length along the back line, heels to your hips, sink on curling the tailbone back. Now lengthening, tailbone to the crown. One more in to lengthen. Exhale to fold. And inhale, slowly rise. I'm going to sweep your right heel in first, and then sweep your left heel in front of the right. So in an easy pose, heels about in line. You can also sit cross-legged if that's more comfortable for you. And the inhale, reach high to both sides. But the exhale, spine twist to your left. Maybe your right hand connects outer to the knee. One more big breath to lengthen. Exhale to twist. On the inhale, bring it to center. Sweep up and out of both sides. Exhale, full side the arms back. Two. 
Keep your belly to your spine, slowly rise. We'll open it to a short and seated straddle. You don't have to extend all the way, you can. Maybe finding a little more space, flex the pinky touches of your feet back. You can keep the hands behind or in front of your hips. And the inhale, lift your chest. If you'd like, with the exhale, gentle toe. Maybe a really small shift or sway with the ribs and your shoulders right to left. When you're ready, press it high, take it back to center, and we'll switch. Left heel in first, and then right heel crossed just in front of the left, so maybe back in line. And then I'll reach out of both sides. Exhale, spine twist to your right, back over the right shoulder. Draw your belly button in and up. And your next day, I'll take it back to center, reach up. Exhale to fold. Belly to your spine, slowly rise. One more inhale, reach out of both sides. Palms meet this time with the exhale, draw it in, thumbs to your heart. You can close your eyes and just let your gaze be heavy. You can bow your head to your heart. If you'd like, you can take right hand flat to your heart and the left palm to the back of the ring. You're welcome to stay here, seated. Root it into your center. If you'd like to take it all the way down, for Shavasana, you're welcome to, if you have the time, take it, be here. So good to have you here, sharing this space, even from afar, in your practice. Just have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you soon.